Gemerson Dublin International Festival is finally upon us. Every year it kicks off with a bang and this year is certainly no exception. It opens with the European premiere of Neil Jordan's Undine. The film stars Colin Farrell, Alicia Baclada and even debuts young Alison Barry. We're here on the red carpet to get you up close and personal with the stars of the film. Was this your first time filming in Ireland? Yes, I love Ireland. I love especially the the, the area that we were shooting close to Cork. It was uh, Castle Down Bear. Beautiful, beautiful, magical place. So I'm quite in love with Ireland. And Colin was your love interest. Was it a bit weird working with your partner? Did you find it kind of difficult or funny at times? No, we weren't together that time. Oh. It was very professional. That's what I want to say. It was very professional. We really focus on on work. Now, down the southwest of Ireland, it's not very warm as it is, well, even tonight up here, it's freezing. How did you deal with the swimming in the in the waters? I mean, did you have a stunt? Yeah. Well, I, I did, ha- you know, I have some people, I had some people that were helping me when when it got too cold, but I mean, I had to be in that water whenever there was a shot and close up on me, so if you've seen the movie or will see the movie, you'll realise I was there quite a lot. And um, how you cope with that? You just go for it. Was this your first film? Yeah. And what did you think having Colin Farrell as your dad? Um, I was, He was really nice and he was really friendly and like just sit down and have a chat with him. He was really nice. Did he play a few jokes or he was messing around behind the cameras? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Colin. Alicia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet How you, are Alicia. you? I'm good. Um, this isn't your first time opening the film festival. You were here two years ago with oh, Imbrus. That's right. Did that open as well? Yeah, yeah that's right. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two years ago. Could you just tell us a little bit about Undine? Undine is a story that came from the heart and mind of Neil Jordan that I was lucky enough to be part of about about um, a fisherman it opens up a fisherman pulls his net from the water and there's a, a woman that we don't know whether she's dead or alive in the net and then the story unfolds that maybe she's a mythical sea creature maybe she's not um, that's basically about a bunch of a uh, group of people's lives in Castletown Bear and how their lives get turned around by the by the appearance of uh, myth and, and fairy tale in their life or what they believe to be myth and fairy tale you know and you enjoyed coming home to film I did I loved it yeah I loved it and I was in heaven in Castletown Bear for three months in the summer I was just like so ideal I have to commend you as well for your Cork accent it was brilliant you put on a, a, a great you you're, you're a Jackie oh yeah, I am a Jackie no, absolutely and you're talking to you for your Cork boys tonight and see if I don't get a slap in the face and then I'll, I'll know I'm kosher whenever Neil first produces script to you what were your first thoughts were you like I'm definitely on board I'd wanted to work with Neil for as long as I've been doing this so um, so we talked about stuff about seven or eight years ago he wrote a great script about the Borgia family in in Italy and we were going to do that and then he didn't get the money for it and then this came it just seemed like the perfect storm you know a story that I loved and a character that I loved and a part of the world a part of Ireland that I loved that I had a relationship with already because I did Fallen for a Dancer down there about 12 years ago which is where this all started that was my first paying gig so it was really nice to go back there and you know great to work with Neil This is your first time opening the Jemison Film Festival. How important do you think a festival is like this is to Ireland? To Ireland? Well, it was set up by Michael Dwyer years ago, and uh, he just seemed to set it up in the back of an envelope, but he knew so many people. He did it very, very well, and he got, you know, most of the international festival circuit to come here. So it was great, and I'm thrilled to be opening the festival with this. And back to Undine itself, you wrote it during the writer's strike. Pardon? You wrote the, the script during yeah, the writer's strike. I was, bored. I was terribly bored. Did you want to come back home anyway and, and yeah, film a film? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Hollywood's in a very strange place at the moment, and they were, you know, they had a movie, they said, well, we wait, we'll put you all on hold until the strike is over, then we'll see what you do, and I just said, no, I'm off home. So I wrote this little movie, and I sent it to Colin. He loved it, I mean decided to make it together. And he was your first choice for the main character? Yeah, I kind of wrote it with him in mind, really, you know, I just kind of, um, I'd pre- I was one of the producers on Intermission and I didn't know him that well, but I loved his work as an actor, so I really thought, I had him in mind as I wrote it for him, so when he liked it, yep. it was great. And what else have you got coming up in the future? Um, I've, I have uh, a load of movies, but none of them here, I'm afraid. Oh, so... Okay, well, have a great night and congratulations on the film. It's brilliant.